Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Salvage Boys. Today we're working on this white uh, 6.4 and the plan is for today um, to pull the cab because I wasn't going to pull the cab. I was going to take it to a shop. Ross told me just take it to a shop. They'll strain everything out. It's just one frame rail. So I'm like, that's a good idea. I started taking stuff apart and then I just... I don't know. I just don't like how close the engine's sitting to the firewall compared to the other engine. Um, plus, I don't know what's going on in there. All this stuff is broken. Um, some of this stuff is on there. I don't know what this is. Never seen this on my trucks. <laughs> LOL, JK. But I want to pull the cab. I mean, it's not, it's a lot of work, but I just want to pull it off and see what's going on because if the frame is too bad, I'm just going to put a new frame on. So that's the plan. Um, it sucks, but Ross has, uh, I was just out of town a week and then in a couple of days, Ross is leaving out of town. I was working and Ross is actually enjoying his time off, but I'm gonna have one week without working on any other projects I'm thinking. So I'm just gonna start pulling the scab. What's the worst that can happen? I have to put it back on. So let's get a little time lapse going, but yeah, I just, it doesn't look too bad right here if you look at it. Um, I have a whole front end for this thing. Plus it'd be pro pretty nice to cut it and weld it when everything's off. So I'm gonna pull it off, see what's going on, what happened, maybe a motor mount broke or something. I just wanna look what's underneath and go from there. I know it starts, I know it drives, um, you know the body's straight. So let's not, not waste any time, but make sure you put, hit that like, subscribe button. Um, and uh, I'll set up a time lapse and see what happens. Well, as you can see, all dirty. I got this hand. But I think I got everything unhooked. And uh, I just have the steering hooked up so far because I want to push it in on the lift. And then I can still steer it. So let me get this thing pushed in. Let me, and then I can probably lift the cab. So hopefully I remembered how to unhook everything. So let's get that.
Look at this, boys and girls. As you can see in the time lapse, I got this cab up and uh, found some couple of goodies. First of all, um, I think this was my main kind of like good thing I pulled the cab. Um, got a nice little hole in the up pipe, little contact here. So the cab did shift over. Uh, the first sign of me knowing that the cab shifted over was these bolts weren't straight when they were coming out. Look at that one. Look at this guy. So that's no fun. These frame rails, one's this way, the other one's this way. So this one's this way, this one's that way. Uh, this bad girl's ripped out. So, I mean, she was uh, got a little nice impact. So, I mean, this is not too bad as you can see. Um, I have a whole front end of this. So I need to just like cut it and weld it on. So that should be good. Uh, the holes in the cap didn't look like they got damaged or anything. They look pretty straight, but you can see, I mean, I don't know if I can pick this up on camera. I don't think so. But yeah, they were kind of shifted like in the hole, like it shifted a little bit and bent those guys. I'm really glad I decided to take this cab off because now I can actually take all this apart. I need to change this pipe out and that involves like getting a whole bunch of stuff over here it's not it's possible but it's not very fun with the cab on so now at least i can work on the engine i can uh figure out what i want to do with the frame and uh see because that would be easy like i pull in that truck right here on this lift i lift the cab i lift the bed i take that truck out i drive it back in here um or once this is out, I can lower this, weld the whole front end in there. Um, you know, so this is straight, uh, get everything buttoned up and then drive that frame in here or drag it in here, swap the engine over, take that engine, sell it. That engine is pretty good. Oh, I should not sell it. Keep that engine for something else that I got. And uh, I mean, that would be pretty easy. So I don't know how far I'll get to it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm gonna post this video, it's not gonna be long probably, just me talking a lot and some time lapses. But it did take me, you know, hour and a half, plus, you know, some time pushing it in, looking at it, this and that. So, and today is Saturday, so after work, um, cause I had to drive from Idaho this morning. So that was fun. Um, but um, got that done. I mean, that's out of the way. So now I can at least focus on the engine on all that stuff but let me know if you guys want like a big long video of a lot of progress or just these kind of short videos of updates because i usually after work or saturday work on these things so but yeah a little bit of a mess in the shop just cleaned it now i'm back to being a mess that's all that stuff i'm gonna keep on there just to uh see if i need any brackets and stuff but my my goal is right now is to get this front cover replaced but everybody's on back order so I have another truck coming that has a blown engine, uh, but has really low miles. So hopefully I can use that cover, some stuff, because this one, I already took this cover off and I don't have one because I needed to use it for, I think my flatbed. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's that for now. I was looking in here. I did not see, let me see, man, this doesn't want to focus. Oh, there it goes. I didn't see that it broke any motor mounts or anything like that. Uh, tranny mount is good. You can see. Feels like it's in there. Everything should be good. Everything else, I mean, the brunt of the force was kind of right in here and kind of pushed everything out of whack right here. So it's pretty good impact, but it just, I mean, the bumper's right here. So everything in here took all of it took the impact but other than that it's not too bad it might look good but a lot of work but i think we should be fine i'm just really glad even the fender should survive so look at this thing i just noticed <laughs> looks like the exhaust broken off i don't know if that was like that or it rusted so might need a new exhaust or the, just that piece i might have one laying around 
So I got this thing off one of my parts trucks so I can see if I can need to use this, if this is gonna be good. Uh, Cause this side's a little like rusty and I think it has a little buckle in it from the accent. But other than that, this part is what I need right here and some of that, but I don't know if that can be fixed. So if you go up here, you can see that is tweaked up pretty good. So it'll probably be hard to put it back. Oh, maybe not that hard, but I can just cut it there and there somewhere or go all the way back from another cab um, and just put the whole front in. It's just a little bit more time consuming, but that just holds the radiator and the um, intercooler in. So it's not like it's gonna have to be perfect. So that's no, it doesn't line up the body lines or anything like that. I don't think so at least, but yeah. So got a little piece already this thing so i can uh, start at least looking or kind of comparing to see what is what right now my plan is to order some parts for it find this front cover because i have another truck but i only have two lifts i'm gonna try to pull that one pull down the the other truck apart so i don't want to just you know wait and hope that cover is going to be good so i'm gonna try to find one maybe ross has one laying around somewhere um other than that I need to order some parts for it so I can finish the engine so it's going to be complete, no issues. And then I can start transferring everything over, fixing this thing. Uh, but right now, uh, the plan is to order some parts um, and get this engine dialed in uh, before I continue everything else. Because there's no sense of continuing everything when I need to work on the engine first and then everything else. So on that note... Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Salvage Boys. And thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace.